Happy summer. If you'd like to see a couple of recipes I bring to uh, my summer Memorial Day picnic, be sure to watch this video. Hi, my name is Patty. Thanks for clicking on my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today is Memorial Weekend, Memorial Day, the start of the summer season, and I made a couple of recipes uh, that I'm bringing along to our picnic. Uh, two salad recipes, one is a BLT avocado salad, it's a pasta salad, and the other one is a lightened up broccoli salad. And then for dessert, I made a uh, Jell-O sugar-free poke cake. I'm including the recipes here today so you can make them they're low in point and it's a good way to have enjoy a holiday picnic i brought some of my weight watcher friendly food and i brought a couple of uh, buns so my points are lower on the burgers and hot dogs so it's just a way that i can enjoy a holiday and i put some tips on a video that I made. I'll link it up above and then you could uh, read some of the tips I have to enjoy your summer holidays. Okay, I'm going to bake 12 ounces of center cut bacon at 400 degrees for about 16 minutes and this will be for two salad recipes I'm making. So I cook the bacon for about 18 minutes and it comes out nice and crispy and then I'll use it in both of my salads. Then I'm also getting some water ready to boil. I'm going to boil some noodles for the pasta salad. I'm going to make about half of this box so it's about eight ounces. The first recipe I'm going to be making is a BLT uh, pasta salad with avocado. This recipe calls for eight ounces of pasta that I cooked. I weighed out six ounces of avocado, eight slices of crumpled up center cut bacon, quarter cup of light mayo, one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, a cup of cherry tomatoes that I quartered, two cups of shredded lettuce of your choice. I used uh, iceberg lettuce. And you also need a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to take one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice and then I will add the six ounces of avocado. And then I will mash that up until thoroughly combined. The lemon juice will protect the avocado from browning. Okay, that's all mashed up. Then I'm going to use some light mayonnaise. A quarter cup of the light mayo. One and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then you mix that together. This is going to be the dressing for the salad. Now I have the pasta that has been cooled. Now I mix together the avocado with the mayo and the lemon juice and the salt and garlic powder. And then I'm going to add it to the pasta that has been cooked. Then I'm going to mix it together until the pasta is coated with the avocado dressing. And once the dressing is combined with the pasta noodles, add the crumbled bacon, the chopped tomatoes, <clears throat> and the lettuce. And then you're gonna mix it all together. Once that's all combined, I will put it in the refrigerator and let the flavors join together and it'll all be all ready for our barbecue this afternoon. And that's the BLT avocado salad ready to go. I will link the recipe below.
This recipe is five points for a one cup serving. This recipe is for a lightened up broccoli salad. So what I'm going to need is three cups of chopped broccoli, the floret, the flowers, one third a cup of sunflower seeds, eight slices of chopped up center cut bacon, one half cup of a chopped red apple, three quarter cups of sliced grapes, red grapes, one half cup of light mayo, and I use Hellman's light mayo, and that's a half a cup, one teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a cup of shredded carrots, or, or you could use a matchstick carrots, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the apples and add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now I'll combine that, that keeps the apples from being browned. Then I'm going to add the broccoli, the grapes, sunflower seeds, the bacon, and the carrots. And then I will mix that up. Then once that is mixed, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna make the salad dressing. I have two tablespoons of granulated sugar in the bowl. Then I'm gonna add the half a cup of light mayo and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then I combine that together and that's gonna make the dressing. And I'm also adding uh, a chopped green onion or scallion. This is two small ones. I chopped up and then that's all mixed up and I will add the salad dressing that I made these ingredients are all combined and I will refrigerate it until all the flavors combine together this is four points per scant cup which is just short of a cup so that's four points on the blue plan. And that's the lightened up broccoli salad and I will have a link in the description box below. Okay, I'm gonna make a sugar-free poke cake for my last recipe for our party. I'm doing a sugar-free yellow cake mix. I'm gonna substitute a third of a cup of the non-fat Yogurt, Greek yogurt, I use the Faye brand. This is what I use, and that's gonna be the substitute for the oil. One cup of water, and three eggs. Then I'm gonna mix that up. I have the oven preheating at 325 degrees. I'm gonna spray this with some nonstick butter spray. And then I will pour it into the pan. Then I will bounce it a little bit to get out the air bubbles. And I will put it in the oven for 34 to about 35 minutes. And then I will show you what's next. Once the cake has cooled for about 20 minutes, I'm going to take a straw and poke holes all over the cake. This is going to allow the jello that I will pour over it to soak into the cake. Doesn't really matter what you use to poke holes. So that looks good enough. Then I'm gonna take one small pack of sugar-free strawberry Jello. It weighs 0.3 ounces. And I'm gonna dissolve the pack in the one cup of boiling water that I have. And I will mix that up until it dissolves. Then I'm gonna add one cup of cold water. Mix that up. 
Then I will simply pour it over the cake. And then I will refrigerate that for about two to three hours and then top it with some strawberries and some a light cool whip for a nice dessert for the picnic or barbecue or summer holiday party or any party. So there's my strawberry poke cake recipe that I finished. I sliced some strawberries up. I served it into 12 pieces. Each piece is three points. And I will top it with a little tablespoon of a light Cool Whip. So that is the dessert I'm bringing to our picnic, along with my two salads. Please comment below on if you're going to any picnics this weekend, or if you have any coming up in the summer months, and what kind of recipes you bring to enjoy on your picnic if you're having a potluck or if you're just trying to stay on track. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. Remember we're here to eat healthy, get fit and be well. This is Patty and I'm winning at weight loss. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!